Happy Kitty Pig! Hi, I'm Marlene. Welcome to my kitchen. Y'all, I'm fixing supper for me and Piggy. This is Tuesday night. Uh, the 21st, 22nd, somewhere around there about. And y'all, I've lost track of days. Or days, I should say. Uh, it's 22nd. Uh, uh, October the 22nd. Yeah, October the 22nd, because next year is 21st. And I was wanting soup for supper. And I had the uh, piggy run by the grocery store this morning on the way home. Get what I needed. And what I plan on making is uh, basically my version of hot and sour soup. I'm changing up a little bit of stuff, adjusting the ingredient amount. Uh, so what I have here is basically double the amount other than the tofu. Okay. So here I have uh, four, 12 cups of chicken broth. I have two eight-ounce packages of mushrooms that have been cleaned and sliced. Shrooms, baby! And here I have some hot sauce. In this cup, I have half a cup of soy sauce and half a cup of rice vinegar. Here I have one can of bamboo shoots that have been drained and then julienne, which... Uh, what are they shoot? What caliber? I don't know, but basically cut into matchsticks is what I've done. And here I have one teaspoon of minced garlic. For the regular recipe of hot and sour soup, you would use about a half inch piece of peeled garlic and then you would remove it before you finish the soup. I'm just putting in the minced garlic and it's going to stay in there now. Here I have six eggs. I have some sesame oil, salt and pepper. I have a 16 ounce package of extra firm tofu. And then I have, I have two sheets of nori that I have uh, cut into strips. And I'm using the nori in place of the green onion because I don't have any green onions right now. I forgot to get them. Don't put it, don't put it, don't and here I have about a fourth of a cup of cornstarch and a fourth of a cup of cold water. Y'all tell me where I got that from. <laughs> now I've already opened these uh, just to break the seal. And we're going to pour this in here. Now it ain't going to take all that long for this to cook. I think overall it'll probably take maybe about 15, 20 minutes. Well, all the prep has been done. Yeah, the prep is the, is the main part, y'all. And I think it probably took us about maybe 15 minutes to do the prep. That all? Think about good. Yeah, about that. Even including doing those? Well, that's something totally different. Yeah, but including those, it probably took about 25, 30. Okay. And what he's talking about, y'all, is that we've got, and these are not burnt, they're just crispy. These are uh, egg roll wrappers that have been cut into strips that have been deep fried to crackers. Okay? They taste good to me. Of course, I made some lighter too, so. Yeah. Now, uh, when it comes to the broth, I have chicken broth. You can use chicken broth, chicken stock, beef broth, or beef stock, depending on your flavor, the flavor palette. If you do not want to use a meat broth, you can use vegetable broth or vegetable stock. Entirely up to you. Now, if you uh, want to be a completely vegetarian meal, I would suggest using the uh, beef, or not the beef, but the vegetable broth or vegetable stock. And that would make it a completely vegetarian meal. Your paw up on my foot ain't going to get you none of that. Uh, but typically, it is made a uh, hot and sour soup that's made with chicken broth or chicken stock. Right. Now, first things we do is we put in our... Uh, broth, then we add our vinegar and our soy sauce. We're going to add our ginger. I'm going to use this right here since I'm going to use this thing anyway. Okay. We add our mushrooms. And y'all, hot and sour soup is basically a mushroom based soup if you ask me. That's why I've got some of you know, I love mushrooms in the soup. And our bamboo shoot. Now, some people make theirs different. This is just how I make mine. Okay. And now we add two teaspoons of hot sauce to this. Hot sauce! Yes. And 
and or to taste them. If you want to put a little bit more in two teaspoons, that's up to you. I'm up to three. You know, I like hot sauce. And I like the hot and I like the hot in the hot and sour soup. So I'll put me about three. Okay. For me. I get to eat. Yeah. Piggy, like, Piggy likes hot and sour soup as well. He also likes egg drop soup. Uh does. And this is basically just a jazz duck egg drop soup, yeah. Okay. Now we'll cut this on, turn it on, whatever you want to call it. Cut it on, turn it on. And it says to uh, flip the switch. It says bring this to a simmer over medium heat and it is to cook for five minutes or until the mushrooms are tender. So what I plan on doing is... Uh, you need a big lid for that? No, not right now, no. I'm gonna, Are you gonna need the big lid for that? Yeah, not until I get ready to put it in the refrigerator and I'll put it in the bowl then. Okay. So while this right here is doing its thing in the cooking department, let me grab a paper towel. Lay my spoon, my spurtle on. Lay it down there. I'm going to go ahead and beat my eggs. I told you she found it. I am, I am, I am. And uh, then what we'll do is once this gets to the point where the mushrooms are tender and it's been roughly five to eight minutes or so, depending on that, we'll come back and we will start adding the rest of the ingredients. All right, yeah, this is actually cooked probably for about a good 15 minutes or so. Um, thank you. You have to let the broth come up to temperature before it can cook. Uh, so you want to make sure the broth is heated through and then you simmer it for the five minutes. Since this is a double batch, I simmered mine for a good 10 to 11 minutes or so. Okay. And as you can see, the mushrooms have kind of cooked down and they are tender. They have cooked down. Okay. Next, I mix the wa uh, fourth cup of water, cold water, into the fourth cup of cornstarch to make a slurry and this is just a thickener for the soup. I'm going to make sure you have it mixed in very well. And then let's see. It just says um, pour the slurry into the uh, soup and mix it in very well. Cook for one to two minutes or until the soup thickens. So it can be anywhere from two to five minutes just until it starts to thicken up. All right? And as I'm pouring this in, I'm going to be stirring it. Stir that pot again, folks. Well, if I'm not beating the eggs, I'm stirring the pot. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my have a little phone here and set me a timer. I'm going to set it for three minutes just to be on the safe side since this, this is a double um, batch. And once the timer goes off, if it is thickened up to my liking, we'll go on to the next step. So we'll see you here in just a minute or two. All right, we're back and the soup has thickened a little. So what I'm going to do is uh, it says to stir in the uh, it says stir soup in a circular motion. So while I'm doing the circular motion for the soup, I'm going to pour the eggs in. And you don't want them to be totally beaten up. You do want them to be uh, maybe have a little bit of white left. It doesn't have to be. Try to put them in slow like you do the egg drop. Yeah. Maybe not quite as slow as the egg drop. Well, I mean, it's just... Basically making egg ribbons in the soup. Kind of like egg drop. Yeah. Like I said, this is a jazzed up egg drop soup. And that was six eggs. You don't have to use six eggs. I just happen to like eggs. And the next thing it says to do is to add the firm tofu. I'll go ahead with that and stir that in. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the nori. And for those of you who do not know what nori is, nori is seaweed. 
And this is sushi grade seaweed. Yeah, never in my life thought I'd be a sea cow and eating seaweed. Um, I'd be putting nori in mine even if I didn't have the green onion. Simply because I had nori in some uh, egg drop soup one time. Or not egg drop, excuse me, but hot sour soup. And, uh, oh man, it was so good, y'all. Okay, now we're going to add the two teaspoons of sesame oil. Uh, I have uh, regular sesame oil. You can use toasted sesame oil if that's all you have. Like the, I, I prefer the regular sesame oil. And this just gives it uh, that little bit of a nutty flavor, and it is so good in Asian cuisine. After I get the salt and pepper in here, I will show you what I'm talking about as far as the nori. Um, they have several different types of seaweed in some grocery stores. Some is snack seaweed, and some is not. Uh, the snack seaweed happens to be salted. Uh, some with sea salt, some with kosher salt, you know, just different salts. There she goes, she's no fancy words again, folks. Cuisine. Cuisine, food. That's supposed to go in the fridge or? No, it goes around the bottom shelf over there. As with those? These go over here. Okay. Now, this has to cook for two to three minutes. Then we'll serve it. But I'll show you the nori real quick. This is what you're looking for, something similar. It's called sushi nori. Uh, it comes in sheets. I use two sheets that I cut up. And this is basically what it looks like. Uh, this is just about a half a sheet right there. I haven't got it pulled all the way out. And this particular package comes with, um, I don't think it says how many is in here. But this is no added flavor, colors, or preservatives. It is a non-GMO product. Uh, this just happens to be the Blue, Dra Blue Dragon brand. There are other brands out there, I'm pretty sure. It's sea grass. And it is 100% roasted seaweed sheets. Let's see here. Uh, serving size, one sheet. Ten sheets. Okay. Oh, okay. I was just going to see if I can find that for you. Yeah, I just happened to see the serving suggestions on the back. Oh. Yeah. And you can use these for... Uh, Wraps, putting rice in them and other things, and just as a wrap, or you can use, you know, bake sushi and make it up. Uh, like I said, I happen to like it in my hot and sour soup because um, I try, I've had it in it before, and it's really good. And don't get me wrong, the green onion would be great. I don't have any, so I'm not going to worry about it. You don't sweat the small stuff, folks. You don't. And it's all small stuff. And it's all small stuff. And, you know, if you don't have something, you don't have something. You go on, you either omit it or you substitute something else. And in most cases, the onion in the soup, the green onion, is optional. Now, right, we're going to let this cook for another minute or so. And uh, while that's cooking, I'm going to get everything set up here for us to do our taste test. And you're ready to All right, yeah, we're back. Got soup on the table. And... Uh, I told Piggy, I might be eating a couple bowls of this stuff. It smells good. It looks good. Now, if y'all don't like hot and sour soup, that's okay. You don't got to eat it. It's just something to try. And yes, I know I have another video up for hot and sour soup, but you know what? Sometimes you make videos two or three times and change it up a little bit each time. That, that's the whole thing about it. Yeah, it gives you variety without being too varied. Same meal, but it might be cooked a little different. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Before I put my crunchies in there, my crackers, I'm going to try the soup. I got a little bit of nori, a little bit of mushroom, whatever else I can get in there. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I could stuff. Uh, it over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, this is what I'm talking about crackers. You just take and crack them up, put them in your soup. Just like crackers, only these are well, uh, egg roll wrappers. You can do wonton wrappers. I just pour them in there and bash them with my spoon. But uh, this is supper tonight. I hope y'all enjoyed it. 
and uh, you'll have a great day. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. We're fireballs.